Hey, what's up YouTube? It is me again. Uh, so, what I'm showing you today is the Norwegian patrol pack once again. So, I, I did a, basically a, a video on the Norwegian patrol packs. And uh, <clears throat> I showed actual issue ones. So... Let me show you real quick. On the left is the issued um, Norwegian patrol pack. On the right over here is the Winchester um, Norwegian patrol pack. So what they tried to do is they tried to um, duplicate the, the nice look of this little patrol bag. Um, <clears throat> so... When I originally bought this original, it showed it as about a 13 liter um, backpack. Um, when I looked at Winchester, they, they list this as a 18 liter. Um, now, you know, I understand... You know, from my measurements, it shows that this is about 13 to 15 liters. Now, I I understand also if you um, overstuff this and use this lid to put stuff underneath it, you can probably go up to about 18 liters. So I'm guessing that when they say 18 liters, you're over, overstocking this. Um, so let's take a look at how long these things are. So it's slightly longer on these. So, you know, maybe you can get overstock it a little bit more. Um, but let's take a look at the quality on here. So, you know, what I actually like with the Winchester is that they have, it appears to be, um, thicker grommets or, um, you know, basically, um, not grommets, but, <clears throat> you know what I mean, fasteners on here. So these appear to be larger than the ones on the, the old um, Norwegian ones. <clears throat> um, one thing that I, personally, I do like brown and green. I just, I like this kind of grayish white look on the original versus the reproduction um now this now honestly though this looks awesome too um i mean if they were trying to copy it why not try to copy the same colors but uh yeah i'll tell you what this is very well made and the gauge on the canvas looks virtually the same about the same thickness um, when we take a look at these um, loops on here it's slightly larger on the reproduction um, the original supposedly has you know elk leather with these are using uh, cowhide um, so let's take a look at this thing here. So wh what I like about the reproduction is it's actually thicker and stronger than the original. So this is more of a, um, like a canvas cotton stuff where this looks like it is, uh, nylon or polyester, but it looks more like nylon to me. Um. Let's take a look at these little buckles here. So they're just using some galvanized buckles here with a little roller. Um, this is like a brass. So who knows where they got these fasteners at. You know, these could be imported or not. I don't know. Um, but these are brass. And so instead of having this, they've got this little loop here. Um, 
Hey, look, they're both good looking. I kind of like the look of this slightly more. <laughs> Man, this thing's, you know, like this is a knockout. And that's like good damn looking. Um, okay, so let's look at the bottom here. So they pretty much mirrored everything over here. So you've got the leather down here, leather um, strap. Let's turn them over. Um, basically with this little strap, uh, which I believe is so that you can attach it to your um, web belt so this thing stops from moving around as you're, uh, you know, assaulting stuff. Because these are kind of like assault, assault packs or something like that, right? So that's why you'd have the little one. So normally these things, are, when they're empty, you can fold them. And make them smaller you see there's three panels on both of these um, you can make it smaller and then put it inside of your large rucksack and then when you're going to assault or something like that um, you know basically uh, you've got the smaller pack with the minimums um, so the way these straps are made on both of these is is really more for you know, like a bed roll or a great coat or some kind of um, jacket or coat because they're not large enough to put, let's say, a um, a mess kit or something like that inside there. Now, now, these ones are slightly longer, but they're still not big enough diameter so that you can... Um, actually put something uh you know like a mess kit inside of there and and you know figuring how small these things are why are you going to do that um anyway uh so if you see here you got all this nice leather trim on both of these you got your elk and then your uh cowhide um, so let's take a look inside of here so what what I really like about this reproduction is inside of here they've got a liner so on the original one you don't have a liner inside of there on this you do so let me open this up so give you an idea of the size of stuff that's in here I've got a Kifaru um, Whoopi inside of there because you an idea of how, how big or small these things are um, okay so let's take a look uh, so this is number 78 out of 500 so they're only making up to 500 of these uh, you take a look inside you, you got this great liner inside so which is kind of cool I kind of like that um, what's nice too is they have a little um, pocket in here so you can do some organization inside versus the issue one now see this is why you would probably like it better if I knew how to edit because then I could just get into this shit to show you right away, right? But uh, I, I really don't care that much. I'm kind of dumb. So I don't really edit or any stuff.